How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Now if you're like me and you've just received your Flashforge 85X then you may be wondering what to print first. Well today I'm going to share with you 7 things that you need to print first on your 85X. All of these prints are nice quality of life upgrades which I will have linked in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video definitely like subscribe. Without further ado let's get into it. Now I usually keep my list to 7 however I have one honorable mention which I'll cover first. Of course, the honorable mention is a Benji, which is preloaded on the 85X. Now, for those of you that are new to 3D printing, you may be wondering what this cute little boat is and why it's called a Benji. Benji is short for benchmark as this print is a great way to test your printer's capabilities. It is designed to test how well your printer deals with overhangs, large smooth curves, tiny surface details, cylindrical shapes and much much more. Now this precise file on the 85X is not any ordinary Benchy, it is of course a 4 color Benchy. Allowing you to not only test your printer like I mentioned before, but also test out the IFS unit and how well the printer handles multicolor. first object on this list is a purge bucket. The purge bucket is a must have as every time your printer loads and unloads filament, it will purge an amount of filament and shoot it out the back of the machine through its poop chute. The IFS will also purge an amount of filament every time you change colour to ensure your colours don't get mixed in your print. Now there's plenty of different purge bucket files available online, however I have chosen this one as it comes with a bracket that you can easily attach to the back of your printer. The second file on this list is a set of IFS numbers. Now this may not be for everyone, but I think it's still an important one. The numbers stick on top of the corresponding IFS spool holders so that you will always be able to tell which spool of filament you have loaded in which IFS slot. Honestly, this file has come in clutch as multiple times I have had to take one of the spool holders off just to remember whether it was number 3 at the top right or number 4. The next file is probably my favourite file on the list and this is a nozzle box or nozzle holder. The file was created by Insane over on Printables and it was designed to fit all of the four compatible version 2 nozzles, the 0.25mm, 0.4mm, 0.6mm and 0.8mm in a nice snug box with a closable lid. I love this model a lot and it's a great way to keep your nozzles safe and to stop you from losing them. The fourth object on this list is an IFS guide tube removal tool. The IFS guide tube removal tool is a little handy tool that makes removing the guide tubes from the IFS a lot easier. It takes only 6 minutes to print one, it simply slides over the top of the PTFE tube and once pressed down into the connector, easily removes the guide tube. The IFS is mounted just above the spool holders and in my opinion does not provide enough clearance for the spools of filament. On spool holders 1 and 4 especially, if you're using some third party filaments that seem to have bigger spools, it may hit the IFS unit. The IFS extender file allows you to slightly raise the IFS giving you more space above the spools on holders 1 and 4 making it easier to load and unload the spools from these holders. The penultimate object on this list is a tool holder, created by Chow005 over on Printables. It was designed to fit all the accessories that came with the Adventure 5M with an extra spot for a second nozzle. However, I have remixed the design to include two slots for the 85X nozzles. This tool holder will keep your tools safe and together, and you'll never be frantically searching for the correct Allen key needed to tighten or loosen a screw again. The last object on this list is a stylus. 
The stylus is very similar in design to the preloaded file that came with the Aventura 5M. It works perfectly with the touchscreen display and helps keep the screen clean. If you've had any issues with using your display where you've had to press a button multiple times, then this will definitely be helpful. Now, you may not think that this is worth the print, but I have had multiple people ask me what that file was uh, because I've used it in, I believe, the unboxing video. So it was a preloaded file on the 5M, but someone has redesigned it and there's an STL file available for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've printed any of these files and if you have any other must prints, feel free to link them down there as well. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, happy printing.